Welcome back. I gotta say, this is a lot quicker than uh, actually playing the game. Well, it's not quicker than playing the game. I mean, it's it's the same length, obviously, because... I just mean, it just feels quicker. Because I was just like, ba-boom, right back. Which usually I am, but, you know, when you're concentrating on a game, it feels longer, I guess. Does that make sense? Probably not. It's too late right now to be trying to make sense. And I wish I didn't have to do this. Not that I don't enjoy making videos for you guys. I do enjoy that. And I enjoy that you enjoy that. But I... Um... Just don't... I, I, I hate how my mic didn't record the audio the first time. And if you saw there, I could have taken the elevator, but I didn't. Wanna know why? Because there's a fire emergency. And they say never to use an elevator during a fire. See? I'm safe. I'm smart. Looks like he's got bullet wounds. Watch yourself here. From bullets. From bullets? Well, now what if there were like bullets on like a counter and like they got set on fire and they like shot off? We've all seen Shaun the Dead Lady. That was a sex bob bomb. <laughs> Frontier's office. We are assigned in just a few minutes ago. Understood, Commander. Oh yeah, flashbangs. They make a huge appearance in this DLC. And they are annoying as pop cocks. Because they aren't really um like they aren't really helpful for the other people like they don't like you know hurt you and you know if you, you just stay in cover obviously and you'll be fine but they're just annoying because you got that big flash and then the, like the bing! but you can still see so it's like not helpful for them at all i don't know why they use it hey, and i finally killed people Yeah, that was one thing that I, uh, another thing I liked about Mass Effect 2 is that the, uh, armor was, uh, didn't really make a huge difference what armor you wore. Like, the first one you had to, uh, choose if you were gonna be, like, a strong guy to get the stronger armors, but in this it was like, you know, you could just buy upgrades for your armor. And then the color thing was cool. Because, like, the black and red was cool in the first one, but... I rock the blue-green combo, you know? Show off Mother Earth style. I will say this, uh, the, this DLC, um, I don't, I'm not going to say anything that happens in it, but it is the best DLC for Mass Effect 2 so far. And the Mass Effect 2 DLC has been pretty good. They haven't been great. Like, um, they've been good. Just because they were like, shit I didn't really care about. Like uh, the thief one, that was cool, it was funny. Like when you're going through uh, and getting, seeing all the guys, a like, collection, you see like the, you see the Statue of Liberty and they make the plan and the apes reference. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sorry because you're probably really fucking lost. <laughs> but you see the Statue of Liberty, it just said its head and the, the thief chick you're with. I forget the name of this DLC I'm talking about. But she goes, she, she looks at it and goes, Damn him. Damn him to hell. He blew it up. That animal, or that, that monster. It's just a reference to Planet of the Apes. Like, and basically everything in this, like, trophy room is just like, a, like she just makes jokes. She makes jokes at it. References. It's really funny. But I mean, other than that, they like all of them were good, but they weren't really uh as relevant as this one, I guess. Like this one, you know, you got Liara in it, so it brings up some shit, obviously. So you know, it's, it's, it's obviously better than the other ones. Even if the other ones were really good, this one is just better. But then there's other things that just make it better that I'm, I, I can't talk about. 
there will be points in the video where I'll be like, remember when I was talking about those other things? This is one of those things. And you'll be and you'll be like, watching. You'll be like, oh yeah, that does seem like one of those things. Oh yeah, and this whole I still don't know. This whole video series, I'll be trying to put my weapon away by holding an X or tapping X. I don't know if that's right at all. I I would just, I've, I try and put my weapon. I took care of that problem so quick. They're blocking the stairs. Never mind. I did it. I got cleared everything. Um, cause I usually put my weapon away. Cause if you put your weapon away, your uh, party will cry out, like all clear, and then you're like, oh, okay, cool. But I don't. I don't. I never remember having my weapon away. But I try throughout the whole thing. Why don't I remember? Cause I'm a failure, and I like to shoot things. Those two reasons. Now what's this? What isn't that? I like how that safe was unlocked. That guy got fucked up. And that guy got... Wait for it. Fucked up. Damn it. If I'd have been a few seconds faster, I could have stopped them. Is this a cat? Must have been. No sign of that data Liara talked about. Looks like a dead end. Uh, speaking of which, did you find your friend's body? You mean this body? Shit's going down. Cat fight. Liara. This is Basir. She's a specter. This is the woman who tried to kill me. <laughs> You've had a rough day, so I'll let that slide. Why don't you put that gun down? I saw you. I doubled back after I left. I watched you break into my apartment. So what? You were just using me to find the message? I actually get renegade points for choosing the angry answer. What bullshit was that? Once she had my location, right. she signaled the Shadow Broker's forces. They bombed the building to take me out. She found Sakat, took his data, and killed him. I'm guessing she still got the disc on her. Good guess. Not that you'll ever see what's on it. Uh, I'd just like to clarify that in the Let's Play original audio, I called that shit happening. Just saying. Tackling a bitch out a window. Remember those things I was talking about earlier? This is one of them. And of course, Garris and Miranda use the fucking stairs. Yeah, see that right there. Those are the renegade points. You were mean to the person that wanted to murder you. How could you? tell you th this is like this is like like uh torture a little bit because i'm just watching myself my earlier self play mass effect 2 all i want to do right now is just fucking play mass effect 2 <laughs> but i can't i gotta concentrate on this and talk about it because that'd be a bad video because then i probably end up just talking about <laughs> mass effect 2 i'm playing present time which is now past time because it was like 10 seconds ago I just blew your mind. Can you feel my dick? Fucking your mind? That's a uh, reference to Ginger the Greek, which was a pretty funny movie. It wasn't it wasn't great. It was good. It was alright. 
see how that like declined so quickly. Uh, but yeah, we'll be right back for part four of let's talk about random shit with Shakepool while we watch Mass Effect 2.